I thought I would share with you my find of the day. Well, I guess it's not really fine because I know it's been here since we moved into this building, but look at this super old water heater. Looks like it's 1971 year built right there. So I'm doing a dump run today, so I'm gonna get this thing dismantled and look what's on the inside of it. I see all kinds of copper. So I figured I'd make a little video for you guys since I'm just now starting to dabble in scrapping metals and whatnot. And then got this one too. This one's a little more modern. I know what the year on this guy is. Is it 1996? Oh, that's the repair record. I'm not sure when it was manufactured. But yeah, got some copper there, there, and all kinds of copper on this guy. And those are the new water heaters in the boiler room of the new warehouse that we bought. I also thought this was kind of cool. There's an old safe. Here, there's nothing inside of it. It has the key on there. Nobody could figure out how to open it, but the back of it has a big hole. Like it was a little drop shoot or something. So yeah, let's do it. Take this thing apart. <laughs> Take a look at this thing. Well, it was actually surprisingly easy to take apart. And as you can see, got at least 100 pounds of copper there, maybe more, plus all the fittings and everything. So yeah, this was a, this was a good find. Definitely my highlight so far for my scrapping career. Okay, so after scrapping that water heater from 1971 from the A.O. Smith Corporation, this is what I ended up with. Got this thing here, weighs about 50 pounds. Got these giant brass copper mixed pipes. There's another one there. This one here, which it was just going to be way too much work to separate the copper from the brass. And then these are all the coils that wrap around the water heater itself. And I think those were about 60 pounds altogether. So I'm going to the scrapyard now to see what I get for all this but not bad for a water heater that we were just gonna take to the dump. Luckily I saw inside that there was copper inside of it, so I figured I should probably take the time to remove it and recycle it. So if you guys see an old water heater from 1970s era, definitely take a look inside, because it could be filled with treasure. 